Okay, so here's your tool demo. I don't usually like doing tool demos because I think that you can um, you can get better tool demos somewhere else, but just because I like rivets so much and it's something that I don't see people using very much, I just want to show you uh, how I would use an aluminum rivet. So for this demo, I'm going to attach this wheel to the slightly used mousetrap using these aluminum rivets in a riveter. It's going to be awesome. Let's say I want to attach it like this because that's classy, and I'm going to put two holes in here. When you're making holes for rivets, the hole has to be exactly the same size as the rivet so that the rivet will be able to get through, but then um, be able to spread out and take hold. So I'm going to drill holes using this 3 16 drill bit, which is the same size as these 3 16 rivets. Bam! Okay, so a 3 16 drill. Um, don't do this at home. I'm not clamping it. I'm going to take this 3 16 rivet, I'm going to put it through this 3 16 hole in my mousetrap, like so. And then I'm going to put that into this hole on the wheel, like that. Okay. Now, as you can see, the wheel, um, the hole on the wheel is much too large for this rivet. That rivet will not be able to spread out enough um, to uh, seal off that hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a washer on top of that. Um, but it actually turns out that I don't have any um, I don't have any number 10 washers right now. So I'm going to take a second to make a number 10 washer out of this number 6 washer. You should really be doing this in a vise, but whatever. That was fun. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to take a 3 16 washer on this side. Fits perfectly and the rivet comes out just a little bit on the other side. It actually comes out way, um, that's a lot further than it needs to be. I could have used a shorter rivet, but it'll be fun to watch that thing like, you know, spread out. So now, um, what happens is that you shove this thing onto this side, and then you pull the big handle. You have to pull a couple of times to get it all to stay together. Every pull of the handle pulls the rivet um, through and like spreads the aluminum out, and that aluminum um, kind of just like mushrooms around the hole, and that's what keeps it in place. And then eventually it breaks, and the rivet shaft comes out on the other side, and ideally just dumps out of the riveter. Bam! So that's the part that you're going to get rid of. That thing goes in the trash, and this thing is now riveted. The mushroom me side is there. It looks like that. Okay, so now you can see that I put in two rivets, um, one on each side, but the second rivet is all fucked up. Um, this one right here, I twisted the riveter at a strange angle while I was putting it together, so it came out um, all wonky. And it holds, but it's not classy. So there's a really good excuse for me to show you how to take a rivet out. Uh, I'm going to drill it out. Um, I'm just going to use the same old 3 16 drill bit that I used to put the rivet in, um, and that will be uh, perfectly fine for taking the rivet out. Um, first, this time I'm actually going to clamp it because I don't want to hurt myself. Alright, well I drilled out um, the front half and uh, I could drill all the way through, but I could actually also just rip out the back half. Okay, so uh, I just removed a rivet using a drill. And now I'm going to put the rivet back in. Nice and straight this time. Thanks so much for watching. If this was useful to you, please contribute to my Patreon. I am a full-time independent artist because of your donations via Patreon, and I'm very grateful for that. Um, this video is actually an appendix to my series on uh, building a Mononoke cosplay. If you're looking for that video series, that is here. And this is how those rivets worked in that build. I'm just attaching leather shoes to a plastic helmet. Um, anyway, thank you very much.
Yeah. <laughs>